2021 and beyond holds a remarkable number of upcoming Mac games. Today we're going to cover the ones we found most exciting. Number 20 is Return to Nangrim. Explore the ruins of a mountain fortress once held by a glorious dwarven empire in this fantasy RPG filled with puzzles, survival, and adventure. You'll have to craft weapons, defeat monsters, and learn the ancient language of the dwarves to unravel the mysteries of their culture and story. Just keep your torch close when the darkness closes in. A neat touch is that procedurally generated content and puzzles will guarantee different experiences for each player. Return to Nangrim is expected to release in quarter 1, 2022. Number 19, we have Everspace 2. Another ambitious sequel, Everspace 2 leaves behind its original linear nature to expand into a large space cluster that you can explore and fight in as you please. The fantastic visuals and snappy arcade combat return with tons of new loot, RPG elements, crafting, and more for you to enjoy. Expand your ship collection, find profitable trading routes, chase epic gear, or you can uncover secrets, solve puzzles, and dive into peril. Everspace 2 is out right now in early access for Windows PC, however the full version for PC, including Mac and native Linux support, will be released at a reasonably increased price in the first half of 2022. Number 18 is Hytale. At a glance, Hytale is a Minecraft-inspired sandbox RPG, but it is much more than that. Sure, you'll encounter wizard towers, dangerous dungeons, and towering boss monsters, but it's also built for creators in mind. Full engine, editing, scripting, and cinematic tools will be available for you to make your own mini-games or adventures. Very cool. If you want to skip creating, there's competitive play, cooperative journeys, and unique worlds made on the fly due to the special world generation technology. Hytale is expected to release sometime in 2021. Number 17, we have Saturnalia. A survival horror game steeped in Italy's traditions, Saturnalia will have you exploring the mysteries of a village with four different characters. Each one is more suited to a particular task or investigation than the other. Just watch out, every time a character dies, the town might reconfigure itself. An incredible art and animation style, along with wild audio, will create an experience like no other. A non-linear narrative and open-ended progress will keep you guessing at what's next. Saturnalia is expected to release in quarter 1, 2021. Number 16 is The End of the Sun. A first-person exploration adventure set in a Slavic fantasy world, The End of the Sun is an atmospheric mystery. As a sorcerer with the ability to travel in time, you arrive at an unknown village that is oddly empty of inhabitants. However, you can teleport between multiple periods, reaching across seasons and years to discover the missing town folk's lives and events. Open world exploration, dynamic weather, and riddles await you in your journey as you solve the village's secrets. The End of the Sun is expected to release sometime in 2021. Number 15, we have Shelter 3. The popular animal life simulator continues in Shelter 3. This time around, you will inhabit the role of an elephant mother tending to her calf, part of a larger herd. The herd leader needs your help as you travel to new lands, and along the way, you must protect the old and the young from predators and threats of starvation. While previous games focused more on smaller scale or solo adventures, this third iteration emphasizes community, unity, and leadership. You'll have to make crucial decisions to keep the herd safe and reach your final destination. Shelter 3 is expected to release sometime in 2021. Number 14 is Ghost on the Shore. A story-rich adventure game with a supernatural twist, plays Riley, a young woman stranded on a lonely island. But it's not so lonely after all, as a talkative ghost becomes her new companion. Explore the island, filled with crumbling homes and forgotten lives, chatting with your deceased new acquaintance. A branching narrative and choices with consequences punctuate the gameplay, letting you influence your relationship with the ghost and determining the ending's outcome. Ghost on the Shore is expected to release in quarter 2, 2021. Number 13, we have Sky Climbers. An ambitious open world action RPG, in Sky Climbers, you'll build a kingdom, tame monsters, and explore an anime themed metaverse. This one is listing many awesome sounding features, so let's hope they all make it through early access. There's base building, survival elements, exploration, RPG classes, solo modes, co op play, player versus player adventures, and more. 
don't forget the procedurally generated game world that devs claim will provide infinite possibilities. Sky Climbers is expected to release in early access sometime in 2021. Number 12 is The First Men. A radical real-time strategy game, The First Men pits Adam vs. Eve against each other as you explore, conduct war, and diplomacy in your goal to advance your side. Expect in-depth exploration with a vast world full of secrets, monsters, and other races to interact with. Manage and upgrade your settlement, go on expeditions, and engage in tactical combat when necessary. The First Men is expected to release in early access in quarter 2, 2021. Number 11, we have the Iron Oath. A turn-based tactical RPG in a medieval fantasy setting. Sounds generic, right? However, Iron Oath stands out with fantastic pixel art and a legacy gameplay mechanic rarely seen in such games. You will manage a band of mercenaries who will age, retire, and die. Over decades and centuries, you will carry out contracts, recruit new characters, and build your company's reputation while navigating a changing world. In-depth turn-based combat relies on careful use and planning of each unit's unique skills. Outside of the action, you will manage the finances, roster, and happiness of your company. Major and minor events will regularly occur, forcing you to make choices with lasting impact. Number 10 is Death Trash. I love the idea of Death Trash, an open-world post-apocalyptic wasteland with hand-painted locations. Cosmic horrors have encroached upon humanity, but thankfully there are punks with shotguns to hold them off. This one combines old-school role-playing and modern action gameplay with an emphasis on player freedom. You can kill everything or nothing. Evidently, there is a flesh kraken you can befriend and converse with. I sense this one is game of the year already. Death Trash is expected to release in early access sometime in 2021. Number 9, we have Space Base Startopia. A humorous space sim with a dose of strategy, Space Base Startopia will have you managing three different space docks. Each one features its own biome and style. The subdeck, biodeck, and fun deck. Clearly, that last one is the place to be. Develop your sectors, manage the inhabitants, and consider engaging in skirmishes to conquer more space. A campaign mode and battle mode let you fight friends and foes alike. Just watch out for the snarky AI narrator who won't hold back. Space-based Startopia is expected to release March 26, 2021. Number 8 is Black Book. Black Book is a dark RPG adventure based on Slavic myths. Play a young sorceress with a tragic past who has sought out demonic magic to obtain her goals. Travel the countryside, meet common folk, exercise demons, and complete side quests. A nifty spell-based combat system uses cards and skills which you can modify during your journey. Don't forget to summon some demons for help as well. I'm incredibly excited for Black Book. There's a free prologue you can download on Steam to check out the game right now. Black Book is expected to release in quarter 1, 2021. Number 7, we have Hollow Knight, Silk Song. Sequel to the 2017 smash hit, Silk Song is an epic follow-up to Hollow Knight. As the lethal hunter Hornet, you will journey to all new lands and discover new powers. Battle vast hordes of bugs and beasts and uncover ancient secrets tied to your nature and your past. A whole new kingdom to explore, lethal acrobatic action, and hundreds of new foes await you. Powerful crafting, shocking quests to solve, new towns, and more will be uncovered in your journey to the top of the world. Number 6 is Humankind. From the minds behind great games such as Unless Space 2 and Dungeon of the Endless comes a brand new historical strategy game. In Humankind, you will rewrite the entire narrative of human history, combining cultures to create a civilization of your own choosing. With up to 60 historically based cultures to pick from, each added culture will lead to its own particular gameplay layer, allowing for near endless outcomes. From the ancient to the modern era, you will govern your people with unique leader character. Humankind is expected to release April 22nd, 2021. Number 5 we have Sable. Sable is an indie open world adventure with a gloriously striking art style. Join Sable, the titular character, as she embarks on a rite of passage, using her gliding to traverse vast deserts and landscapes. Explore at your own pace on a hoverbike or on foot. Scale monumental ruins and fall on spaceships or the serenity of the desert. Optional puzzles, encounters with other nomads, and bike customization are all possible in this gorgeous adventure. 
Sable is expected to release sometime in 2021. Number 4 is Psychonauts 2. A powerful young psychic has realized his lifelong dream of joining the psychic espionage organization known as Psychonauts. All is not well in paradise, however, as the super spies are in trouble. The leader is kidnapped, a mole is lurking somewhere in the base, and there are various nefarious plots you have to foil with your skills. Whatever wacky and wild adventures are cooked up, you can count on Double Fine to deliver a satisfying and humorous experience in this long-awaited sequel. Psychonauts 2 is expected to release sometime in 2021. Number 3, we have Amnesia Rebirth. From the creators of the iconic Amnesia series comes a horrifying new adventure in Rebirth. An intense journey into survival and darkness, you will push the limits of human resilience, despair, and desolation. Expect Amnesia's signature atmosphere, terrifying monsters, and managing of your sanity as you navigate the environments and advance through the story. Amnesia Rebirth was released for other platforms in late 2020. However, Frictional Games recently confirmed on Twitter that a Mac version is in the works, but a release date is to be announced. Number 2 is Total War Warhammer 3. Hype time! Total War Warhammer 3 has been announced and you'd better be ready to worship the Chaos Gods. With the six new factions stepping onto the battlefield, there are tons of new armies and ways to play. Not only are four out of the six new factions representing Chaos, the game will also be set in the realm of Chaos, a dimension of twisted magic and mind-bending reality. Ready your mortal mind and either conquer the demons or command them in a conflict that will engulf the entire world. Total War Warhammer 3 is expected to release at the end of 2021. Number 1 we have Metro Exodus. Leave the confines of the Moscow Metro behind as you embark on a continent-spanning journey in Metro Exodus. The strong story and atmospheric elements of the previous two games return, along with new open world sections and non-linear levels set on the surface. Deadly combat, stealth, and scavenging will be required to progress. Just be careful about your choices. The wrong one could determine your comrade's fate. Metro Exodus for Mac has been confirmed by 4A Games in a recent newsletter, however the release date is to be announced. What is your most anticipated upcoming game on Mac? Let us know in the comments. There are lots more upcoming games for Mac. This is just a small highlighted list we got hyped for. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, and if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications to stay up to date with Mac gaming. My name's John, and thanks for watching.